Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm doing a hair tutorial or just like my hair routine and what I do to my hair. I'm just going to show you guys what I do when I wash my hair. I washed my hair this morning and it's been damp. I've had it in a bun. That's why it looks all curly. Um, and that's pretty much... I haven't done anything to my hair the whole day. So it's still damp. And we want to be working with damp hair for what I'm about to do. Um, so the products that I have in right when I get out of the shower, I don't use conditioner because I use a K18 leave-in hair mask. Now, when Aaron told me about this, he was like, you need to stop using conditioner. And I was like, hmm, okay, that's fine. I won't use conditioner. So I just shampoo my hair and then when I get out of the shower, I use this. Um, K18, honestly, I didn't even hear about it until Aaron told me and now everyone's blowing it up on TikTok. So you can get this now in Sephora. I think it was only available on like Amazon, but yeah, you can get um, your Sephora points with this. I ran out of the bottle um, probably like a few months ago, and when I stopped using it, I kid you not, my hair was so dry and like hay-like. It was so annoying, like I hated doing my hair. But when I found this in my drawer, I was like, oh, let me use this again, and it revived my hair. I have to like use all the time now. This is like holy grail. Go in with a dime size amount and then apply it here like on the ends and then another dime size. So I probably use about like four um, pumps of it um, just to get all of my hair. If your hair shorter you probably use less than that. And I also started using the Grow Gorgeous um, Hair Density Serum for fine and thinning hair. I barely have any hair. I don't know why. Like my hair used to be so thick and like it grew really fast and I don't know why it's just Actually, I do know why. I think it's because it's all the bleach. And that's okay. I love bleaching my hair. I've been using this for about a month or two. I don't know if I've seen a difference. Um, but I still use it just because I just need something um, topical to put on my hair. I don't like ingesting like hair vitamins or biotin because I do break out from biotin. And that's what causes like hair growth and nail growth and all that. Um, so I like more topical treatments where I can just apply it. Um, so I pretty much get like that much and just kind of drop it all over the head and then massage it in and that's pretty much it that's all i did and i threw it in the bun i love my oh my gosh this is like so gross <laughs> hold on i've used a wet brush for years but i saw this one in la and um my boyfriend bought it for me because the sunflowers i think they're the sunflowers right so i use a wet brush all the time I'm just gonna brush through my hair. This is what I use to prep my hair. This is the Color Wild Dream Coat. Um, Chris Appleton, the Kardashians, and the Jenner's like hairstylist um, uses this all the time to prep the hair and to give you that like glass like hair and it's gonna give you that shine. I'm gonna spray this throughout my hair. So now that that's saturated, and then I go in with Color Wild Raise the Root. I love volume. I love huge, big hair, but it's hard to do that with thin hair. <laughs> So I love using this. I'm almost done with it. It's a thickening and lift spray. And I pretty much just go in the root. And for heat style, this is the first thing I'm going to use. Um, this is the Revlon Blow Dry Brush. I know there's like hair all over it. It's gross, but that's just my hair brush. This I use just for smoothing out. And then I'll show you another brush that I use for the curls. This... We're just gonna rough dry and like blow it out and um, smooth it out. So make sure you guys how to do that. I'm gonna put it on high. Okay, see, this is why I'm an amateur because I forgot to section it. Let's be professional now. <laughs> okay, so let me just pause this really quick. I'm gonna keep pausing it because I'm not the best at like explaining hair, but um, I'm blow drying upwards, like up like this, because I want the most volume. And so yeah, that's why I'm doing it like that. And then I'm kind of curving it in just to get some waves going already. Okay. And already we're getting like the volume in the hair. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Also, my layers are pretty effed up because I effed it up. And yeah, so Erin, don't judge me. It 
it's pretty much dry and key tips is that we want to work on damp hair like this is not like soaking wet hair so look at how shiny it is so pretty and you can leave it like this i left my hair like this for three days and it still looked like this that took mm, probably like two minutes to do because i have thin hair if you have thicker hair um it's gonna take you a little bit more time and then you saw at the end that i just took everything and just started like blow drying it out um because it's just a rough dry that's pretty much what we're doing um but yeah it's pretty much how it's looking so i'm gonna do the other side <laughs> get into the blowout part and where we get the curls um these are the leandro limited rollers um i got these at ulta i believe they're like 14 14 dollars each um i got two sets because these come in three different sizes the large one and then medium and the small one so we're not going to use the large one today because i want more of a curl um, so I'm going to use the medium and these small ones. So we first went in with this one to kind of rough dry and also give that smoothness and volume. So this just does it faster. I can use this one initially just like blow out everything. But I feel like it's just for my hair it's just too small and it would take longer. Whereas the big brush I can just really get that done in like two minutes. Um, but yeah so we're going to go in with this. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to section the front part of my hair here and tuck away the rest okay a lot of people like to blow dry out like that and have that like flip that go like this i like it more like inwards like this so you're blow dry going in this way okay but if you like it that flipped out like with that look then you can flip it back if that makes sense I'm going to wrap it like this and then kind of go downwards and once I get to the very end I'm going to roll up and then kind of just like rocking like that. So now it's like all curled up, going to just roll it back. And that's it. If your hair is a little bit thicker and you see it falling out, you can go in with a bobby pin or like the duckbill clips and clip it in. Um, but these are Velcro, so you can just leave it like this. More so concentrating on the end part because from the root to like the mid length, it's already smooth. Like pretty much the whole hair is smoothed out. I'm just trying to get the curls in. So I'm hopping on voiceover. I lost the clip of the video, um, just like the ending part of me taking it out and showing you guys. So in the next few clips, um, I had to do this another day with a full beat and gray sweater, but I pretty much did the same thing. It's just, yeah, I lost the end of the video. So here we go. So it's been about like five, 10 minutes. I'm going to take them out. Already we got a lot of volume going on. There is so much more voluminous. 
actually love the volume because my hair is so thin. Pretty much how the hair is looking like. That's it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.